What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Wednesday to you guys. So, guys, in today's video, you're going to learn why I have my camping set up like this. I am back at Sawmill Campgrounds in uh, Dade City, Florida. Uh, I've been here since Sunday, but today I'm going to tell you guys exactly how my first two days here at Sawmill went. All right, let's just take a quick look inside. Uh, at the entrance, I have my uh, gray carpet. And then this is a very, very simple setup because I am actually sleeping in my van now. And you'll learn why in today's video. And so this is just my day area when I just want to hang out. I have all the usual suspects in here. My lounge chair, table. I did put my refrigerator on top of the table so I don't have to bend down as far to get something out of it. My two power stations and this little bucket here that I usually have a trash bag in and use for my trash. Now, as you can see, I have the panels up on each of the walls with the exception of the front. And I have them, let's take a look from the outside. And I have them like a quarter of the way down so during the day, I can still get some sunshine inside. Here's where my extension cord is hooked up. And by the way, this is the same spot that Mr. Squirrel was making my life a little bit a uh, hell. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go inside and set up and I'm going to share with you guys my first two days at this campground. Okay guys, before I get into today's story, I have two things I wanna share with you guys right quick. Uh, the first one, uh, out of the blue, I got a text. I didn't know who the text came from because there wasn't a name to the text. And then it was followed up by two photos. And the photos were of two FOAs. They were out enjoying their day, enjoying each other's company and having a good time. And the photos were of Katie Mae and Musette. Now I met both Katie Mae and Musette at the first FOA meetup in Pennsylvania. Now I don't know whether they knew each other prior to the FOA meetup or not, but I was so surprised that they, uh, I should say pleasantly surprised, that they even thought to send me the text and the photos. So it's good to see FOAs hanging out and enjoying each other's company. And thanks Katie Mae and Musette for even thinking of me at that time and much less sending me a photo of you guys out enjoying your day. So I'll put the photo up somewhere, either here or here, of Katie Mae and Musette just out on a typical day enjoying each other's company and hanging out all right so the next thing that i want to share with you guys is i did receive one of the four t-shirts that i ordered from teespring at this point i am over teespring now it just takes way too long to get the merchandise in the comment section when i mentioned it before several people said that they ordered a t-shirt and it took like three months for them to get the t-shirt and to me, I don't, look, I don't understand or know how print on demand works, but it certainly doesn't sound like it's the name of the, the, the operation, print on demand, <laughs> you know? So, but anyway, I did get one of the four, but the, the thing is, guys, I am here for 10 more days and then I go start heading back up north. I stop at one more campground in Georgia on my way up north. So if I don't get those other three t-shirts within the next 10 days, I guess I'm just out of luck because I'm not gonna hang around to wait to see when the t-shirts. 
I have emailed them and have been emailing them throughout this whole time. They have been responding, but still, no t-shirts. But anyway, this is a quick look at the first one that I got. This is in a large. And this is the front of the t-shirt. It's the Wowzer t-shirt. Has Life with Anthony. And then on the back, it has the same thing. So, I really like the I like I like the t-shirt. I do. I do like the t-shirt. I do like the uh, words. Now, the only thing is, I wish that I would have made the Wowzer a little bit bigger. But other than that, as far as the print and everything, um, I am satisfied. So I'm super excited and hope that I get the other ones because I have a white one coming, uh, another black one, and a red one. And the red one, I'm really excited to get. I hope, I'm excited to get all of them. But the red one, I'm really excited to get because that's the, uh, if I'm lying, I'm flying and I can't fly logo on a red t-shirt with the black print. So I think that's gonna look great. Oh, wait a minute, I may have gotten that in black. Anywho, I forgot, it's been so dang on long, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> All right guys, so now let me get into the uh, story of my first two days of camping. So on Sunday past, I was at Camp Mars. I went to Camp Mars after I got from the cruise and um, I stayed there for seven days. So on the seventh day, which was a Sunday, I packed up everything, which took about two hours. I packed up everything. No, not, not quite two, probably about an hour and a half. I packed up everything and then I headed here to Sawmill in Dade City, Florida. Once I got here that day, that Sunday, it was a three hour drive. It may have taken me a little longer because you know, I like to stop and I take my time, this, that, and the other. And when I got here at Sawmill, it took me about two more hours to set up here at Sawmill. So already today, I have taken down my campsite, my camping things, and put them back up. Now, while I was putting things up here at Sawmill, I started noticing caterpillars, you know, and I didn't remember seeing caterpillars here two weeks ago when I was here before I went on the cruise. So I didn't pay too much attention to it. So I got my things all set up. I'm exhausted because once again, I just now took down everything and drove three hours and now took another two hours to put things up. So once everything got up and I, I'm out sweeping and you know, sweeping around the gazelle and everything, I, I started noticing that caterpillars were dropping out the trees. I mean, they were just, it was just, Everywhere I look, I started because you know, I like to keep around my uh gazelle, I like to keep it clean, you know, all throughout the day, leaves and all other things are falling down on, and I'm just that person that I like to see things in order, so I was constantly sweeping and everything, and then I started noticing that they were starting to climb up the screen of the front entrance of the gazelle. And I'm like, where? At first, I didn't even know that they were like dropping from the trees. I'm because I'm I'm baffled at this point as to okay, I just now knocked a a whole bunch of them off the gazelle and uh, off the screen, and then I turn around and two more crawling up the day going screen. I'm like, what? And uh, hoot nanny, and I didn't say hoot nanny. What in uh, H E double hockey sticks is going on here? And so. One of my neighbors at the time, when I came here, I had two neighbors in the tent area as well. I became the third one. And he said, oh yeah, oh yeah, the, the calipedals. And then again, jumping back a little bit, I don't know what is going on with me in the setup of this canopy. Uh, the last two times I put this canopy up, I just was so dumbfounded, like I for completely forgot how to set it up. But as of now, me sitting here talking, <coughs> excuse me, talking 
Oh my God, I'm turning into the exorcist, Linda Blair. My head gonna spin around. <laughs> I remember that movie. Oh, that movie was so scary back in the days when you watched it. Linda Blair, The Exorcist. <clears throat> but anyway, <laughs> that's that morning voice. I ain't clear it out yet. Gotta get me some tea in me. But yeah, <clears throat> he was telling me about the caterpillars, but I had no idea that, you know, it was gonna be that bad. So all throughout the day, I just was sweeping, knocking caterpillars. They were all on the top of the gazelle because I had the canopy up too, but I had the canopy out in front of the gazelle. Kind of like you walk out of the um, gazelle and you'll be underneath the uh, canopy. And then I had a picnic table. I'll show you this thumbnail. This was supposed to have been my thumbnail right here. But <laughs> since I uh, made a different type of video, of course I got a different thumbnail. But anywho, yes, I'm sweeping and sweeping. And then, you know, it became a mental thing. It became, okay, what if these things get underneath my uh, gazelle and start coming inside while I'm sleeping? And mm, speaking of sleep, I did not get a wink of sleep that night. I did not get a wink, excuse me, a wink of sleep. I'm telling you now, I just mentally kept thinking that I was feeling caterpillars all over me. <laughs> I'm serious. I, it, it, it was horrible. It, I don't think I ever went through a mental thing like that where I couldn't get to sleep, you know? And I'm up, I'm telling you, I felt like a a, a psycho person because I was up at night and it must have been around 2, 2.30 in the morning. I was up with my little flashlight looking at the walls and the floor because every time I turned around, it felt like something felt like something was on me and everything, you know? So I ended up staying up and I think I took a nap. I'm going to call it a nap at this point around five o'clock because I woke back. Actually, I, I did go to sleep a little bit because I think my body was so tired, I had no choice but to go to sleep. So I think I went to sleep around five in the morning because I woke up, it was like nine o'clock and I said, good. I hopped my little behind up. I went to that office because they I think they opened like eight something. I went to the office and I told them, I said, look, I can't stay at that site. I said, the caterpillars are terrible there. I said, they, they're just falling out the trees left and right. And the girl that works there, Latoya, she said, oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. She said, wait till next weekend. She said, by next weekend, it's gonna be so many of them on the ground. It's gonna look like the ground is moving. I thought to myself, what in the uh, hoot nanny? This kind of crap should be on the website. They should be giving people a heads up about these daggone caterpillars because they are no joke. They're so creepy looking. Oh my goodness. They are so creepy the way they move and, and then they all different sizes and everything. And I got my broom and thank the goodness, thank the goodness I even have a broom so that I can stand back and swipe them off the <laughs> gazelle. And yeah, she told me that they are terrible. She said they are terrible. And she and I had a good little laugh about it because I told her about how I couldn't get to sleep because I kept thinking that a caterpillar was on me and everything. And so um, I changed my sight. I told her, I said, look, I need to sleep in my van because otherwise I would not get no sleep. I'm here too long. Uh, at that time I had 12 more days. I said, I have 12 more days here and I, I I just don't feel comfortable sleeping uh, out out in the t uh, gazelle, and especially under this. I was under like this big big tree, and they were just raining down on me. I'm actually looking at one right now. So I changed my sight and I left the office. I came back to my sight, and here we go again. I have to take all of this stuff down 
and relocate to another site. Now this is the second day. This is the second day of my being here at this campsite. The first day was all the other stuff. So I get back to the campsite and I start taking everything out of the gazelle first and putting it into my van because I didn't want it to sit it out and caterpillars be dropping all on them. So I put everything as in the van. And then I'm telling you guys, it was so hard. And listen to what I'm saying. It was so hard to get things together when I have to continue to sweep away and move caterpillars out the way. Can you imagine I started with the canopy. So I, I took it down in a manner where it was tilted. So two of the legs were still kind of long and the other two I had dropped down so that I can take the broom and sweep them off of the canopy. But as I was sweeping them off the canopy, they were still dropping down. It was like a never ending thing. And I was like, you know, I was going fast, trying to sweep them. And then I decided to just take the canopy down, take the blue canvas off of it, shake the blue canvas. And it was creepy. I didn't even want to stand up on the, uh, the picnic table because it was already like five or six of them crawling on the picnic table. And I didn't want to lay it on the ground and, and, and try to sweep everything off and clean everything off. But I did manage to get them off, but I had to work so quickly. I felt like I had all of this adrenaline because I was racing against these caterpillars. <laughs> and I did get them off and I hurried up and uh, wrapped it up, put it on top of my car. And speaking of my van, they never was on the van. You know, my van was partially under the tree as well. And I didn't see not one caterpillar on my van. It's like they just, maybe because they can't claw up on the van because of the material that the van is made out of, maybe that's why. But I still expected some of them to be like on the van from falling off out of the trees, but there were none. And so I got that done and I brought the canopy over to my new site, which was basically across the street, so to speak. And I started once again, trying to put this canopy up, but it clicked this time. I don't know why, but it clicked this time of the actual steps to put this canopy up, to make it easier to put it up. And I put it up easier than I did the past two or three times, which I was so happy because I already am in the middle of taking that campsite down and putting everything back at this campsite. <laughs> so I'm glad that it did not give me the trouble that it initially did when I got to this campground. So anyway, I got the canopy up, got the blue top, uh, the blue canvas on top. I was happy, I was making progress. I was exhausted at this time. Sweat was, let me tell y'all something. When sweat is pouring down your face, and you gotta constantly use your shirt to wipe your face and everything. And once again, the guy that mows the lawn is out. <laughs> Remember him, guys? <laughs> Mowing dead grass. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I forgot where I was. But anyway, I went back and it was time to take everything. Uh, well, I had everything out of the gazelle at this point. It was time to get the gazelle. Now this was probably the hardest part of this whole breakdown because I was sweeping, I went around the gazelle with the broom, knocked them off. Now the good thing about the gazelle is it has this like, this pushback to it. You know, you can push the top of it and knock whatever's off of it, like leaves or something. Like for instance, see this broom? Like I can push it up. I hope you guys can hear this sound. See that? It has, is that, it has some bounce to it. 
Hear that? It has some bounce to it. I see some caterpillars on the roof. <laughs> on the outside now. <laughs> it has some bounce to it. And <clears throat> it will knock mostly everything off to give you a good head start. So I did that from the inside and then I went outside and was knocking them off as best I could. But here's the thing. I started taking the, and then I, I swept the top because I had the top down as well. I swept the top and everything, but here's the thing that I'm competing with. I had to hurry up and try to dismantle the uh, gazelle. Luckily, this gazelle is just, you push the sides in and start collapsing. And I, I my, my, my thing was, am I going to be able to do this in time without another set of caterpillars dropping onto the gazelle and I not see them. So I had already put in my mind that, you know, <clears throat> it's probably gonna be a couple caterpillars wrapped up in there <laughs> somewhere when I put it in the bag. Because my initial thought was I wasn't going to use the gazelle anymore. I, I didn't wanna put it back up and this, that, and the other. But then when I got over here to the new now new site, and I put the can had the canopy up and I put my table out, my rug out and all that kind of stuff. Like 20 minutes later, I got to thinking, okay, this is the same site that Mr. Squirrel gave me problems. So maybe, and then, then I thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to order some side panels for the canopy. And then before I, realized and I ordered them. I got on Amazon, I ordered them. But before I realized it, I was like, this still is going to be too open. You know what I mean? So like Mr. Squirrel came back to mind again. I was like, oh Lord, I'm just giving Mr. Squirrel free will of anything that I have sitting out here. So I canceled the wall panels from um, Amazon and I thought I better put my gazelle back up. So I put the gazelle back up and this is the end result. Uh, I decided to put the gazelle underneath of the canopy. Now it's not the perfect fit. I had to find the sweet spot underneath of the canopy where the highest part of the gazelle would not be bent up against the top of the canopy. So it's a little off here is not in the complete center of the canopy because I had to put the top of the canopy in the highest point of, I mean the top of the gazelle at the highest point of the canopy so that it would go up. It was going to go up no matter what because it's a pop-up. Now it may have stopped bending some of the, the rods and everything, but it was going to go up no matter where I put it. But then I, I, I walked outside and was looking all around it. And I was like, okay, I can't put the center of the gazelle in the center of the canopy because the canopy, this canopy is a little lower than the other canopy I had. This is a newer canopy. So then I noticed that right on the corners of the canopy is open space. So I moved the uh, gazelle so that the center of one of the, the canopy, the center of the gazelle will pop up even better at one of the open spaces in the full point itself. If you look at it from the outside, it's a little off, you know, the, the gazelle is not in the center of the canopy, but that was okay. Cause this is just where I lounge and I find myself drawn to being in my van anyway, even when I'm just chilling. So, this is just up for to say, hey, I'm a little camper. <laughs> you know, I got a gazelle. <laughs> I got a canopy. <laughs> I come in here and I cook. Um, I don't really chill in here. But anywho, that's the story, guys. It was just a nightmare. I actually set this up, took it down, in between taking it down and setting it up four times in two days. Four times, y'all. I 
took this whole setup down and put it up. I was exhausted. Honestly, I wasn't even thinking about making no YouTube videos. Yesterday, when I got everything done, it was around 3 o'clock before I finally started feeling like, whew, I can unwind, start to unwind now. I went and took a nice shower. I felt better after the shower. And I just chilled in my van for a few hours and then I got out, got up and started hanging around the campsite and everything. And that was my yesterday. So now I can really start to relax. I feel good. I got a good night's sleep inside of my van and I'm ready to start my day here today. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for lending me your ears. As always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time. Hey, video done. 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 Hey, my exorcist voice is coming back. <clears throat> Hello. How are you? Remember Linda Blair? Ah, how are you? Ah, what's that? Holy water. Ah, get that away from me. <laughs>